Uh, hey guys, um, so I looked at my YouTube channel today and almost 5,000 people have watched my video about my rack. And uh, I realized that most everyone, I guess there's, in the analytics, it says how long people watch. And people weren't really watching to the end at all, I guess. So um, I thought I'd make a bunch of shorter videos. So in case you just wanted to see one piece. So the video today is just going to be about my ISP uh, connection, how I how I have it set up uh, and just that individual piece. Um, my server rack is in my shed um, behind my house. I live outside of town, kind of, you know, quote unquote, country living. Um, so I don't have regular, you know, internet like through cable or fiber or anything else. So I have Starlink. Um, so you'll see my two Starlink routers here. Um, they're both in bypass mode currently. And I'll take you outside real quick here, show you. So there's dish number two and dish number one. And as you can see, I have another pole there and the mounts are inside. This weekend, I'll be mounting the second one. Um, everything kind of goes in underneath my AC there, connects to my scanner and antenna and all that fun stuff. But uh, so those are the two dishes that I have now. That one's just up there with a dumbbell right now, zip tied to a dumbbell and it works. Um, so this is my shed here. So I'll take you, I'll show you the outside piece first. So back to the house, I have some, uh, the nano beams. I believe these are the five ACs, I believe is what they are, nano beam five attaches you can't really see it it's over there behind the uh pomegranate tree you'll there's another antenna um since they're only capable of doing about 450 500 megs um the little bit of tree interference really doesn't cause any problems but the house is back there um all internet comes in from the shed and then from here beams over to the house and supplying the TVs and so forth and so on. Uh, and then in the rack comes in through the Starlinks. The Starlinks are connected. This uh, power unit here is the one that connects to the bottom uh, APC UPS down in the front. Um, so it's got all the networking stuff kind of has its own, uh, you know, its own power. Um, comes into my PFSense router right now. It's a super micro 1U chassis, uh, eight core. Um, it's like a 95 watt or 80 something watt TDP on the processor, but I use the power D function of PFSense to turn the power way down. Uh, so it only is using like uh, I hooked it up to the kilowatt and it's like using like maybe 30 watts um, under like under load when I'm downloading something or something like that. So um, some of you guys may notice some slight changes to the rack already since I made the video. Um, you know, this thing's a work in progress. It's always changing. Um, so, but there's the, the APC down here that runs all the networking stuff. So that's pretty much it. The two, um, two Starlink connections are, um, not in failover. They are in load balancing. So it will load balance between the two. So yes, I'm capable of getting, uh, I've, I've the most I've gotten is 480 megs download and about mm, 35 upload uh, you know, teaming the two together. It's, it's, it really depends. Um, they're both fully registered. They're, I own them both. They have my name on them, just separate email accounts that are tied to them. And Starlink seems to be totally fine with it. One, I actually ordered and waited the, you know, too long for, <laughs> and then the other one I bought off of a friend and we did the whole, uh, swap -a with the, you know, with the info. So, um, that's pretty much it for that video. So if you have any questions about, uh, you know, how I have things set up, 
uh, you know, uh, I, I work in IT, so I am very reluctant to show my, you know, actual PFSense screen. Um, I'm not gonna go and do the whole blurring out my stuff and do this, that, and the other. I'm sorry, if you wanna learn how to do PFSense, there are tons of resources online, everything from Wendell, love, great, great guy. There's, I, I don't know the guy or anything, but the, you know, level one is fantastic. Um, that guy's forgotten more about IT than I'll ever learn. So, um, there's plenty of resources. I'm not going to get into all that kind of stuff. You can look up load balancing. You could look up all the PF sense stuff and everything and learn that all. Um, you know, if you're interested in getting into the field of IT, please remember, don't go to the school of YouTube and assume that you could be a sysadmin. Go get certs. Go get trained. I'll see you guys later. Thanks. Bye.